GMS includes stochastic tools that let you easily generate a number of equally probable models by randomly varying input variables. The first steps in setting up a stochastic model are to parameterize the inputs. First, we'll parameterize the recharge zones. To do this, we'll assign a key value of negative 100 and negative 200 to each of the recharge polygons. GMS will recognize the negative numbers as a flag for parameterization. Next, we will parameterize the hydraulic conductivity for the top layer using a key value of negative 300. We'll now map the key values assigned to the polygons to ModFlow. Next, we'll turn on the Stochastic option in the Global Options. We'll then edit the parameter data. We'll use the Initialize from Model feature to automatically create parameters by finding the negative key values. We'll specify the mean and standard deviation. And generate random values by clicking Repopulate Runs. We'll save the project and run ModFlow. The spreadsheet at the top of the model wrapper shows the set of parameter values associated with each model run. Next, we'll use the stochastic mod flow results with MT3DMS. The MT3DMS model that we will use is a simple transport model with a concentration assigned to the recharge at the cells in the location of a landfill. We need to specify that we want to run MT3DMS in batch mode with our stochastic mod flow solution. We'll now save the project and run MT3D. Once the model run has completed, we can view some of the MT3D solutions. Next, we'll perform a threshold analysis on the computed leachate concentrations. A threshold analysis can be used to generate a dataset representing the probability that a set of conditions is satisfied. For our case, we will generate a dataset indicating the probability that the leachate concentration is above 10.0 in the 27 solutions. We'll then set up the contours. And view the solution for the probabilistic data set.
we will generate the mean, minimum, maximum, and standard deviation data from the output of stochastic runs 